Good morning guys. Today is our last full day in the Maldives and it has been one of the best trips I've ever done for relaxation and just sheer amazement at the beauty of where we are. Uh, today, my aim is I want to get as many cool photos of this place as possible. So after we've had lunch, I'm going to walk around with Raya and we're going to just try and just take some awesome Instagrams and I'm going to talk you guys through how I'm like composing the shots and how we're picking them and then how I'm taking some of the photos as well. So it'll be a little bit of a tutorial. So first stop on our photo mission isn't actually on this island. We're heading out to a sandbank, which is, um, I don't know how far away, maybe a kilometer away or something. And from there, I can send my drone up that I've got with me and get some aerial photography because I think I was saying this last night, but I can't do any directly over this island just because there's a lot of other guests and it's kind of uh, quite exclusive so I can't disturb other guests but we can get some aerial shots of the sandbank and fly a bit closer to this island and get some so it's gonna be pretty cool tiny this place is. <laughs> so we've been stranded on this island now. They've left us. The boat is driving back to the uh, the main island and we're just here. Just us. This little umbrella and chairs which is pretty cool and uh, some water. How cool is this? Yeah. I had no idea it'd be this small. Yeah I thought it was going to be massive. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're like shipwrecked. So that was pretty cool guys. That was definitely a very unique perspective, getting on a, an isolated, tiny little sandbank. We tried to get some photos um, just from like our level, but you can't really get perspective of where we are and how cool it is. So most of the photography that I did was on the drone shots, which you would have just seen. We are now moving on to some other photo locations. So I put on my 16 to 35 mil lens, so we're going to try to take some shots. Although this lens isn't very good when you've got people at the edge of the frame. We've figured that out, haven't we, Raya? Yes, we have. So bad. Because it basically stretches the edge of the frame slightly, so people that are on the edge look a little bit bigger than they really are. So when someone's vlogging and then someone's on the side of them just chilling, their face is like three times the size of it actually. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we found that out. So. <laughs> It's better when there's a subject in the middle of the frame with this lens. Right, I'm going to put the time lapse function on. This is one you can download on the, the Sony Play Store or whatever it's called. some of the shots we just took. I think it would look more interesting if there's like a palm tree or a cool little beach hut in the photo as well rather than just sand and sea. 
So I think around here would look pretty cool. We've got palm trees and then we've got sea and we've got the little huts that go out onto the water. This time of day, the sun is basically glaring off the water. So if you can see here, you can't see so much of the turquoise water because uh, we're at an angle where, yeah, the sun's just reflecting. But we're facing this way, you can really see the nice color of the water. We're not getting that glare of the sun. So I'm thinking, instead of a shot from behind, we actually set the tripod up here and get a shot of me, Raya, me and Raya on the beach or in the shallows with the palm trees behind. So I'm thinking this, this is our shot. So I think these came out pretty good. I've got another idea is uh, me and Ryder are sitting on the edge here and then looking out that way over the turquoise little bay area. I think this location is done. We now have to rush because we've got a sunset cruise we need to catch. I want to get some more drone shots of the island if they'll let me take the drone off from the boat. And uh, yeah, and our last sunset in the Maldives. I'm kind of sad. Oh, it's our last we sunset. We've been anywhere this long in a very long time. I know. It kind of feels like home. <laughs> Check out this boat. This is the most photogenic boat for sure. Oh, yeah. I've been looking at this boat since we got here thinking it's so cool. I want to check it out. So I guess the other thing with travel photography is you don't want to ruin moments or get too distracted from enjoying just being in a cool place or in a cool situation. And this is one of those times where you kind of want to film everything but you also just want to sit back and take it in and enjoy the sunset and this awesome boat we're on. So I think personally it's just about finding a balance where you kind of get, I personally like getting my photos and things first and little video clips and then kind of putting my cameras down for a little bit and just sitting back and then maybe getting the cameras out again at the end and doing some stuff. These are the coconuts we got when we arrived. This orange juice in the coconut water. So good. Are you cozy? I feel like I'm in like a dream right a, now. A dream? There'll be amazing clouds everywhere. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. How was your trip? Oh, it was so lovely, yeah. Right guys, I'm gonna end my vlog here. Uh, me and Raya are gonna take the rest of the evening to ourselves. It's our last night here. Um, here's a little recap of some of the cool photos we took today. So 
So I think they turned out pretty good and hopefully you learn a little bit about photography and some little tips today. Tomorrow I will continue sharing some little tips. We're gonna try and get up early, like I said, and film a little bit more. And one other thing is something I've been meaning to do this entire time is do some star photography, maybe some star lapses with like palm trees and stuff. So I'm gonna run outside and do that now uh, and you can check it out. <laughs> Sweet, I'll catch you guys in the morning for our trip to Sri Lanka. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.